Here's example two with implicit differentiation. So uh, again, we just want to find dy dx, and then here's uh, another one of our functions from that first video. Um, e to the y plus cosine of y squared equals x cubed minus one. So step one, remember, was uh, just implicitly differentiate both sides. So differentiate both sides with respect to x. Um, so d dx of the left equals d dx of the right. X. Okay, so on the left side, what's happening here on the left? Um, d dx of e to the y, so differentiate term by term, okay, d dx of e to the y is going to be what? Um, well, remember, uh, so it might look a little goofy if you're not really used to uh, implicit differentiation yet, but remember, y is just a function of x, and um, we know how to do e to functions of x, right? We're just going to use the chain rule. So remember, uh, the derivative of e to a thing is just e to that thing multiplied by the derivative of that thing. Okay, so uh, again the chain rule says that if you want to take a derivative of e to a thing, it's just going to be e to that thing times the derivative of that thing. Okay, so that's um, what the chain rule tells us, and that's how it works with implicit differentiation pretty much. Um, let me actually erase that and put that in blue. So again it's uh, e to that thing times the derivative of that thing, and let's say dy dx. Okay, so that's the first term. How about the second term? Well, here, cosine of y squared. So um, now what we have here is, uh, we're kind of going to have to use the chain rule twice, kind of, sort of. So uh, plus cosine of y squared, if we take a derivative, that's going to be minus sine of y squared times the derivative of y squared. Okay, so remember, uh, y itself is implicitly a function of x, all right, and then we take that function of x and we square it, and then we take the cosine of the result. So there's really uh, three functions here. There's a function inside of a function inside of another function. So chain rule says derivative of the big guy, okay, which is where the minus sign comes from. That's why we uh, minus sign of uh, y squared times d dx of y squared. So derivative of the big guy evaluated as a little guy times the derivative of the little guy, okay? So remember, um, it's important to remember that implicit differentiation really is just the chain rule. Uh, okay, and now equals, what happens on the right? Um, nothing really new or crazy, just x cubed minus one. We take a derivative, that's just gonna be three x squared. Okay, so that's good. Um, now we need to simplify the left a little more. So uh, e to the y dy dx minus uh, sine of y squared times d dx of y squared. So now what's the derivative of y squared with respect to x? Well, it's just going to be uh, times 2y and then times dy dx. Okay, so the, sin the minus sine of y squared is just going to stay there because we're done with that pretty much. And now we have d dx of y squared. All right, so um, Chain rule says it's derivative of the big guy, okay, evaluated at the little guy, times the derivative of the little guy. So now in this case, the little guy is just y, and the big guy uh, is squaring things, okay, the, the big guy function is squaring. Um, so the derivative of the big guy is just 2y uh, to the first, and then it's a y because we evaluate at the little guy, and then times the derivative of the little guy, okay. So implicit differentiation, but again, it's really just the chain rule. Um, so then this equals 3x squared still. Um, okay, so that's step one, differentiate both sides. Uh, step two is also pretty much done, um, happened automatically, that's good, because uh, here, uh, here's a term with dy dx, here's another term with dy dx, and then on the other side there's no dy dx terms, so we're all set. Um, now we could rewrite this a little better, so let's go ahead and just do that real quick. Uh, e to the y dy dx minus 2y sine of y squared dy dx uh, equals 3x squared. So is that really necessary? No, not really, but it's sort of customary to put algebraic functions first um, before trig functions, but it doesn't really matter. But anyway, um, now let's go ahead and solve for dy dx. So just like in the first example, we can just factor out dy dx because we have this times dy dx minus something else times dy dx equals other stuff. So we'll just factor out dy dx. 
Okay, so dy dx times the quantity, let's maybe make it a square bracket, um, oops, times the quantity e to the y minus uh, 2y sine of y squared equals 3x squared. Okay, so now um, to find dy dx, we just divide both sides by what's inside the square brackets here, uh, and that'll give us our answer. So let's just go ahead and come up here and write that. So that's going to be dy dx equals uh, 3x squared divided by e to the y minus 2y sine of y squared. All right, and that's our answer there. Uh, and again, we have x's and y's in the answer as we should because this is all uh, implicit differentiation. Okay, y is implicitly a function of x, which means we can't explicitly say what y is in terms of x. So our answer, our derivative should have y's in it too. Okay, and that's example two.